Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, the little less known V-Core 2023. 100L, guys. Stay tuned. All right, coffee sponsor of today from the Super Thanks side at Pedro Padilla 6954. At Pedro, maybe it's Padilla. Yeah. And Pedro Padilla 6954 writes, Cheers from Brazil. Oh. Thank you, my man. I appreciate it. Yeah. Brazil actually makes some good coffee, too, from the uh, rainforest. Yeah. I don't know if that's that monkey poop stuff, but um, you guys ever heard of that? I don't know if that this might be a too long of a story. Um, if you don't know, there's these monkeys in the rainforest. They eat, like, these things that are look, looking like cherries or cranberries. They eat them, right? The seeds go through, go in, goes down, and it drops out, right? And then these people go picking for them, and, and then they roast them, and it's like one of the most expensive cup of coffees in the world. Mm. Mm -hmm. Monkey poop coffee, guys. Yeah, look it up. It's, it's, I'm not lying, seriously. All right? If you want to be my coffee sponsor of the day, or get me some monkey poop, um, network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. If you want to just hook me up, like my man Pedro, super thanks is the way. You can contribute as much or as little as you like. Link is below. Thank you so, so much. Yeah, man, think, it's, it's kind of weird how people just think of these things. Oh yeah, there's a seed that looks like it could be coffee. <laughs> let's ground it up let's roast it and ground it up yeah no i saw it on like national geographic or something like that or or was it food network or pbs well one of those one of those but it's true it's true it's like expensive cup of coffee speaking of expensive no poo here guys v core 100 l in the house this is the way lesser known version of the V-Core line. Um, probably not as well used as the regular 100 or the 98. I would say we sell more of these than the 95, but uh, barely. Now this comes in at under 300 grams strung. So if you want a lighter, more powerful um, racket that's meant for that tweener, that lady, somebody who's a little slight, uh, maybe a teenager, 12-year-old to 15-year-old, this would definitely be your racket. Uh, easy to, hopefully it's going to be easy to play with because I think that's where their directive is for this particular racket. 100 square inch, 100 square inches, see that new shape. See those new cool colors? I'm sure the junior is going to love this. You will see this racket probably at a lot of junior tournaments. Let's take a look at the numbers, though. Like I said, under, two, under 300 grams strong. Pretty head heavy there. So for a lighter racket, they have to add the weight towards the head. A little lighter on the swing weight, though. So these two kind of balance out so that you get more maneuverability here. Little on the stiffer side than the rest of the line. And that is contributed to the thicker top of the racket, the thicker middle of the racket. This is where your flexibility is coming from. If this continued in here, that would probably be 70 or more, okay? So, so thick. 25.3, 25.3, thins out here for your flex and feel. So if you're interested in a not so heavy racket, medium weighted racket that has a ton of spin potential, 
This is probably your racket though. But let's go out and try it and see if it proves true. All right, see you on the court. All right, guys, so we just played with the new Yonex V-Core 100 Lite. I'm a little surprised by it, but maybe Coach Jared has something else to say because he was kind of saying something. <laughs> Coach. <laughs> so the first thing that I thought is when I looked at the head size or the shape of the head, I told Harry it kind of looks like a hot air balloon. I'm not really sure why, but it just seems like the uh, 3 and 9 position, or I guess like the two and 11 positions are kind of a lot wider compared to the rest of the frame. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's kind of like the same as pretty much every other Yonix back in the past. Um, they kind of have like a rubberish kind of finish on the racket. So it gives you a more muted feel. Um, for the most part, again, it's pretty light, pretty easy to swing through the air. I'd say if you're looking for just an easy racket to kind of just go for and in terms of like swinging through your shots, this would be a perfect option. Um, easy on the arm, um, easy to swing and you know, from, from Yonix, Yonix's perspective, I'd say they're definitely trying to tailor it more towards softer rackets with a more muted feel. Um, but for the most part, it was, I think it was okay for me. Um, wasn't a favorite, but definitely something that people can consider down the road. All right. Coach, you're a Wilson guy. That I am. What do you think of that Yonix? And it's weird. I just grabbed it, didn't know much about it, just picked it up, started hitting, and it kind of felt, I don't usually love... Yonix's, but this one felt pretty good. It was easy. It was soft. Ball jumped off. It was responsive. And um, yeah, I was a little surprised looking at the head shape a little more closely now. You know, it's still kind of the, I'm used to more your Wilson rounds uh, shape than this one, the square, but felt pretty good. I have to say hitting with it. And uh, Hayden, your thoughts? <laughs> um, I, I had a, a little bit of an adjustment was just kind of the, the way it, it swing path due to the, the odd shaped head, but overall it was pretty nice. Um, I had a hard time finding the zone. I wouldn't say it was my favorite. I was like hitting a bunch of balls into the fence. So maybe tennis baseball, I'd be good with this, but for me, probably not on the court. All right. So there's definitely a market for this racket. I think this was meant for that lady, the two, five, three, Oh, three, five, four, Oh lady. It's, it's, it's just easy to play with. There's easy power in here. Um, there's definitely not a lot of hot air, like a balloon, but even though it looks like one, um, it doesn't play like one. I think it's, it's definitely a game improvement racket. So if you're looking for a little more power, looking for a little more muted feel, this would definitely be an option for you. Okay. I, I don't see a lot of men using this, but I do see a lot of women and possibly juniors using this that are seeking a little more power. All right. So not a fan favorite here, but there will definitely be favorites out there.
All right, guys, thank you for testing it out with me. Hayden, Coach Rob, Jared Ma, where can they find you? You guys can find me on Instagram at Ma Tennis. All right, guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Yo, where are you? It's wet. What, what are you talking about? It's wet. It's barely wet out here. You, it's rain. What? It's not even raining. Come on, man. Let's get some tennis in, dude. <sighs> all right, all right, all right. Fine. Jesus, it's not even raining. Okay. All right. We'll try again another day. Ah. <sighs> Do you want a partner who's reliable, who'll play with you? No matter what condition, player court is the place. They got over 27,000 people who will play with you. Check out playyourcourt.com forward slash tennis spin and find your perfect partner.